I had been doing a lot of um, a lot of TV and movie work, and I felt it was just time for me to get back to the basics by diving right into my great passion, baseball. And I also knew that I wanted to do this one-man show, so then it hit me. Why not dramatize the entire MLB postseason? Oh. Oh. It would be my greatest acting challenge. And there were problems. I sunk a lot of money into this. But you never know when inspiration will hit you. The Bugster, Mr. B. Any actor who tells you that he's not inspired by Bugs Bunny is a liar. Frankly, or just a hack. The crowd, they felt it. Yes! You know what I think she was thinking when she walked out with the paramedics? I saw a baseball game. Oh! I wanted to add something that no one could see coming. We're just a great group of guys who work together and uh, keep fighting, keep working. Every time we, we step over those white lines, you know, we give 100%, so... Oh! <laughs> oh! I mean, I want to put the audience in the heads of these athletes. What are they thinking? Stepping towards second. I'm crouching, I'm crouching. Am I gonna go? Am I gonna go? Nope. And they can boo. Derek Jeter said every time the Yankees go on the road, they get booed by everyone. And all he heard is cheers. And so when they boo me on that stage, all I'm hearing, <sighs> I'm the only one on stage, but there is a, a great deal of collaboration in this show. We got Arthur Knebels, who was, of course, the organ player at the Polo Grounds, which really added a real sense of vintage flair. Arthur, I dig what you're doing here, but we're dealing with the young guys. There's Harper and McCutcheon and Trout. So hip it up. I need something a little more lively. I got Snoop Dogg, Wiz Khalifa, and Bruno Mars. Young and wild and free. <laughs> Keep working. He's a fascinating man and a true national treasure. I wanted the theater itself to become the total ballpark experience, all right? And so we were also able to get some professional concessionaires to bring in their expertise. Every single second counts. Who's hungry? Popcorn, soda, red hot. Popcorn, soda's red hot. Game Two dogs, decisions. you got it. You need some change? Uh, yeah, tip is not allowed here, huh? Game Come on. changing decisions. Anybody else? Who's hungry? Who's hungry? Who wants soda? Well, he works in the lobby now at intermission. That's it. It's, it's better for everyone. I brought in Misty Copeland, who is this prima ballerina, world-renowned. Movement and rotation. Let's see it. Spot, movement, rotation. I gotta tell you, it was tough. No, I'm dizzy. You can't get dizzy. Get up. Come on, Cranston. You can do it. Come you can on. do it. We also brought in Pedro Martinez to really nail the details. And there were times I felt like I wanted to quit. Oh my goodness. Good job. This is a joke. I can't Throw believe I'm seeing this. We're you can wasting do this. our Get time here. here. I can't Get do this. Going. You can I do can't. this. But I didn't quit because you don't quit. Use your legs. Wait a minute. That's that's not how you do it. It's this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another personal moment for me is when I get to embody the great baseball play-by-play -play man. Ernie Johnson here, welcome back to TBS, the home of the 2014 AL postseason. You can hear their words, they're like artists. A long drive to deep right field, gone! We'll be right back after this. I was like any other kid, dreaming of being a big leaguer. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Hitting that game-winning home run in the bottom of the ninth in October. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jack. I don't care if I never get back. Catching that fly ball over the fence and robbing one, pulling it back. It's root, root, root for the home team. 
because they don't win. It's a shame. And with this show, in a very personal way, I get to make my dream come true. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out! At the old ball game. What can I say? This is the postseason. <laughs>